Hi everybody, this is Scott, and today I'm talking about the Master Opacity Slider in Perfect Effects. Prior to Perfect Photo Suite 9, I ignored Master Opacity in Effects. Never used it. But now, with the Smart Photos feature, I'm glad this slider is there. So what is Master Opacity? Master Opacity controls the strength of the entire filter stack, how much of the overall effect is applied to your image. This is different than the layer opacity, and layer opacity controls the strength of an individual filter, and different filters can have different opacities. When all those filters are summed up, they create an effect, a look for your image, and the strength of that look is controlled by master opacity. When you like the overall look, but it feels a little overpowering on your photo, you can use the master opacity to back it off. Let's look at an example. I'm going to apply a preset to this image that's really going to be too much for the photo. I have aptly named it Overamped, and yeah, that looks a little garish, but it will help demonstrate master opacity. These filters are pumping up the contrast and the detail and saturating the greens and the aquas of the image. As I reduce the master opacity slider, the entire look of this image is being backed off. You can see the details in the rocks and the ocean are softening, and the greens of the moss are reducing, and the ocean's getting less blue. So why the sudden interest in master opacity with Suite 9? It has to do with the Smart Photos feature. Let me return the master opacity to 100% and apply these changes and return to layers. Now take a look at my layer stack. This is how things worked in Perfect Photo Suite 8. You started with a layer, you sent the layer to another module in the suite, Enhance, Effects, Portrait, whatever. And upon return, the changes are applied in a new layer in the layer stack. Because a new layer was always created before Suite 9, I never bothered touching Master Opacity in Effects. If an effect was too much, I'd address it in layers. Here I'll re-enable my original layer, and then adjust the layer opacity for the perfect effects layer, backing off the strength of the effect. This is doing the same thing as Master Opacity, and in Perfect Suite 8, doing things in layers gave me more control because I couldn't go back and re-edit in Perfect Effects. But I can always adjust layer opacities. Fast forward to today, and we have Perfect Photo Suite 9 with the Smart Photos feature. Here I have the same original image in a smart layer. It's the same, you know, same image that we have in the simple layer. Now I'll take the smart layer into effects, and I'm going to apply that same over-amped preset. There we go. Now I'll apply the change and return to layers, and I'll come back to master opacity in a moment. Now with a smart layer, the look from perfect effects is tucked underneath the layer. There's no opacity control for a segment of a smart layer. If I decided the look is too strong and I want to back it off, uh, well, there's a couple of ways to address that. I could duplicate the smart layer and then delete the effect segment from one of them and then adjust the layer opacities like I did with the simple layer. But that's clunky and nullifies some of the benefits of using smart layers, such as just keeping the number of layers you have to manage low. This is where the master opacity in effects becomes important. Instead, since smart layers are re-editable, I can go back into effects and adjust the master opacity. In the simple layers example, I used a value of 49, so let me use that here again. And now I've backed off the overall effect of all the filters in the stack. I'll apply the modifications and return to layers. The end result is the same. If I disable the smart layer, you won't see anything change. The combination of the two layers below it produce the same results as the smart layer with an adjusted master opacity. And so building it up, here's the original image. We added the preset and backed off the opacity of that layer to tone down the strength of the effect. With Suite 9 and a smart layer, I accomplished the same thing by adjusting the master opacity directly in effects. So, when you're in effects and the strength of a filter stack or preset is too strong, give the master opacity slider a visit to fine-tune your look.